So here we are today in a different town. We're in Karakal, which is about an hour from Krajova. And uh, it's, uh, it's called Karakal. Is it named after the Roman Emperor Karakala? Mm, probably not. It's probably named after um, uh, a Turkish dialect, Kara Kal, which means black fort. And we're outside the beautiful church of uh, Svint Andre. And here it is. No, 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 Elamine, no. <coughs> where an acquaintance of mine is uh, the priest so he's just finished his uh, service his Sunday service and we'll go in and try and have a look at the uh, the church uh, Karakal itself is the second biggest city in the county of Olt uh, 31,000 people, so it's about a tenth the size of um, Krajova, which has about 300,000. And it's um, it's a rather pretty town with uh, a beautiful theatre and a lovely park. So we'll go and visit the centre a bit later. But first we'll go inside and I'll see if I can film, if he'll allow me to film inside the... <laughs> So here we are in Svint Andre and uh, a rather beautiful church. Wonderful. And typical of the style of churches we have here. And. Uh, da, da, da. da. Something very interesting about the church. Ah, spuneți. Trebuie să spunem câteva lucruri frumoase despre această biserică, pentru că uh, este, a să zic așa, unică. Da, prin, prin ce este unică. Mm -hmm. Pentru că, uh, picturi, trei biserici uh -huh. în toată România, uh -huh. printre care una este și aceasta noastră. Okay. De asemenea, tot ceea ce vedeți ca și uh, sculptură, vorbind de străni, vorbind uh -huh. de catapeteazmă, uh -huh. uh -huh. în realizate... Ștefan Malciu, deci această Uh, inclusiv scara aceasta, absolut tot ce vedeți lemn oh, aici, da, 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 este, da. este uh, sculptat de Ștefan Malciu, uh -huh. care realiza mobilă și sculptură numai pentru Franța. Mm. Iar Catedrala Sfânta Sofia din, uh -huh. din Sofia, Bulgaria, Bulgaria da. Da, uh -huh. este realizată tot ce ține de uh, sculptură, tot de Ștefan Malciu. Adică nu sunt niște lucruri de neluat în seamă. Da. Sunt niște lucruri foarte interesante legate de această biserică. E, e unic aici. Este unic. Da, da. 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 și venit, am înțeles că e ceva de osebit. Da, da, da. Eu preferam să veniți într-o zi în care aveam așa lucrurile puse la punct, să zic. Nu cu aglomerația asta. Aglomerația și nu este puse una. Și spuneți ma din tradiția așa de la Pumban al Sambata, pentru că nu există, sunt catolic, eu, nu da. există în Anglia, dar uh, vin uh, tot populație. În fiecare săptămână, în fiecare în care sunt pomeniți da. morții din familia respectivă, da, 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 se aduce da, da. cu un colivă frumos în da, un da. în care sunt aduse spre da. pentru pomenirea mortului. Ah, da. Okay. În amintirea celui care a decedat. Ah, da, da. Da, ce frumos, ce frumos. Sunt tradiții frumoase care da, e da, 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 da. mai greu dacă... Nu, am, am văzut așa la, la Craiova. No. Ok. So, there we have it and I'll explain this uh, later. Puteți să intrați și pe YouTube mm -hmm. și căutați simțire. So, here we are in the center of Caracal and uh, we can see there's a war monument to the heroes of the war with a couple of 
artillery pieces flanking it and uh, we're gonna go and have a look at the theatre and uh, then we'll go and have a look at the park which is the third biggest park my uh, friend uh, Marianne told me third biggest park in Romania the biggest is of course Park uh, Romanescu which we saw in Craiova second biggest is a park in Bucharest and the third biggest and natural park is here so we'll Mergem la primarie. Ai și parc. Da, da. Și e parcul acolo, cred. The park's just there. So everything's pretty central. Uh, we go and have a look at the primaria, da? which is quite an impressive. One of the things you get used to in Romania is the uh, the wiring. Check this out, if uh, if you can see. Uh, just heaps of wires everywhere, <laughs> and it really is unusual. This is the bag. No. The bag. No. No. <laughs> And uh, looks like these were left over from the Christmas market, which they must have had here. Some rather beautiful buildings in the central square. And here's the, here's the town hall with, as every public building has in Romania, um, the Romanian flag and the European flag. And interestingly, Romulus and Remus feeding from the uh, from the wolf, which must be a symbol of Caracal. So we go and see if we can find the. Uh, we go and see if we can find the theatre, which I think is just across the way. No. I'm assisted today by my wife and translator, Donna Magda. Hello. <laughs> uh, and I'll be. Uh, translating what the priest said about that interesting church Svint Andre which we just saw uh, he was basically talking about a sculptor who had carved the steps the stairwell up to the pulpit and also the artist who did the um, dome uh, the, the painting on the on the dome inside uh, one thing you notice about churches Orthodox churches there's no music. The music comes from the voices of the priests or occasionally a choir. Um, but uh, it's, it's, it's certainly something I've appreciated. If you like Gregorian chants, it's, it's quite similar to, to that. So there is music, but the music comes from humans, not from instruments. So you're not going to find an organ loft or an orchestra. And here's the theatre ahead of us, which is a rather beautiful building. And we're lucky again, we've got a really nice day for our visit. Sunshine, although it is cold. We had to chip ice off the car before we, we left today. And here it is, the National Theatre of Caracal. Um, I was told that it's used as a workshop and they haven't had plays on recently but I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah I think it is true because there are no adverts advertising plays and here we go there's a census happening and it happens tomorrow. No? Moine. The fuck, Moine? 14. So big. Okay, 
So it runs for two months, from the 14th of March to the 15th of May. There's a census in Romania to determine what the population is. Mergem la parc. Ah, da acolo, e bine. Uh, the population in Romania keeps falling. Um, I think last time it was down to about 19 million. From a height of, I think it reached uh, 20, 21 million. But of course a lot of Romanians are part of the diaspora. So they live abroad, they don't live in Romania. But following Covid, and the various crises we've had, a lot of Romanians returned home. So it's possible that uh, the numbers will have gone up from 19 million. We'll, we'll find out. And I'll be part of that 19 million because I live here. Here's a rather lovely, although decrepit, old building. Opposite a new build. <laughs> new build, but here I think it's a uh, summer theatre. Ah, yeah. Teatro, teatro de Vara, da? Yeah. So this could be a summer theatre behind this rather glorious facade. Amankata yeah. Kolo. You can, we can go if you want. If you're hungry. <laughs> lovely, lovely old building covered in vines, ivy. And now we're coming towards the park, <clears throat> which I have visited before on my previous visit to Caracal. Nice. It's rather lovely in summer when the trees are in bloom. It's too no? Yes, but too cold. Da, da. What a nice idea, recycling. <laughs> recycling bottles in a large metal bottle, a grill. You can see the park goes all the way down there. And there is a cafe open. And we're quite cold, so I think we'll go and have something to eat or drink. before we return to Cryova. There's a little lake here. Um, what's the name of that? What's the name of that lake in uh, Bucharest? Herestrau? Herestrau. Herestrau, yeah. I've been on a little boat there. So you can go boating, have some fun. Being a bit naughty, we're going against the. Uh, <laughs> but apparently, COVID is over because uh, all restrictions have been lifted in uh, Romania. It happened, I think, yesterday at midnight, so you don't have to wear a mask anymore, and there are no restrictions about uh, going into restaurants or bars. Um, things are back to normal, although of course they're not back to normal at all because cases keep going up. I read uh, yesterday were about 11,000 new cases in the UK. The lake's frozen because it's pretty cold. 
uh, the maximum it'll get to today is going to be two degrees <laughs> so it is cold and it feels cold um, just uh, noting the conflict in Ukraine um, I read today uh, it is, it is good. Oh, these are very interesting sculptures. Carved into trees. Nihil sine deo, nothing without God. These really are rather, rather beautiful. Polished wood. Yeah. And the artist Gabriel Patrashk carved his name in there. And a tree. Wow. <laughs> it's quite scary, really. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, so far, <coughs> many thousands have come into Romania from Ukraine. And uh, even more have gone to Moldova. Moldova, the poorest country in Europe, one of the smallest. And uh, currently one in eight um, children, Moldova is a refugee from Ukraine, one in eight. Whereas Great Britain, well, 22,000 applications uh, for uh, a visa and 1,000 accepted so far, processed. Uh, 1.2 million have gone to Poland. So it really is disgraceful, um, our response. Um, I thought I'd mention one or two other things that we've noticed, or I've noticed. A lot of new builds in all cities and towns. There's scarcely a, an inch of cryover that hasn't been built built on with new blocks popping up all the time. Um, and that's a sign of a developing country, a country which is thriving really in terms of its, its economy. Uh, train stations. I was going to take you to the train station at Caracal, but we decided to drive here instead. And um, if you want to cross a track to go to the other side, you just cross the track. You watch <laughs> to check that there isn't a train coming and you cross. I had a funny experience in uh, Vienna train station where um, a friend of mine who was Romanian tried to do that and <laughs> was almost arrested by the police because it's not uh, accepted practice in Austria <laughs> or indeed most places. Uh, even more scary are level crossings which very often don't have um, don't have any barriers so you stop your car or your bike or if you're on foot and you look both ways and if there's not a train coming off you go so it's uh, rather mm, rather scary. Um, we also have a time period. This is a bit like in Germany, actually. I called uh, for every block, which is your time period of uh, no? no, where people are meant to be quiet, <laughs> not have parties, and not um, play loud music um, so that people can rest. And it's a way of everyone getting on together. And the times when you're meant to be quiet are posted on each block door. And the other thing we, uh, I noticed when I first came to Romania are slippers. Uh, when you go to someone's house, you, uh, you take your shoes off and you put slippers on. And there'll always be a spare pair of slippers for you as you come in through the front door. Oh, this is part of hygiene, I suppose. If you've been out in the cold and the wet, you don't want to tramp all that through your uh, your friend's house. Okay. So we're heading back now, and uh, it is rather cold. So 
I think we're going to try and find a cafe to have a coffee and maybe something to eat. So I'll see you later.